Live from IFC Arena, basketball season is back in business where the Stony Brook Seawolves will welcome the Yale Bulldogs. Here's the tip between O'Cherry and Bruner, and it goes to the Seawolves. Into the hands of Alani, and now into the hands of McKenzie to his right, Garcia. Now to the top of the key is Latimer. Latimer onto the left block. O'Cherry looking for a screen. Latimer jumper, it is good. <laughs> Latimer gets to see this started with a two point jumper and see will take the lead two nothing. Formula inbound, here is Oshefu on Atkinson. And he is stripped by Gavinon. The fourth turnover for the Seawolves. Here's Bruner looking for Swain. Swain pull up from the wing. Got it. 10 4 Bulldogs. That's our Swain. You cannot let him shoot it from deep. He will bury you if he's able to get it. He shot 42.7% from the arc last year. DK try to look in the post. And it'll be taken away by Olani again. His defensive presence has been very important to keep the Seawolves in this game. Latimer dribbling it up, going towards his left. Straight away, floater, no good. Put back by Olani! What an amazing response right there. It was Mogi at you with the putback. They both went up for it, and Gee slams it in on the putback. 10-7 EL, 13-42 remaining in this first half. Going up again, taken away, blocked by O'Cherry. Gee with the rebound, passing up top. Latimer in transition, he'll give it to Foreman. Up oh, here is O'Cherry, pump big slam! That will rile up this crowd for AFCU, and it's a one point game. Very he nice hesitation move by O'Cherry, and he gets his first points of the season for the Seawolves. He's playing pretty well. Here is Swain using the screen, the jumper, t and no good. And on the pump back slam, Bruner weighing, elevating way above Olanahi for the bucket. Here is Foreman. Foreman going ahead of steam towards the left. Tries to find O'Cherry for the alley lob. It was a little underthrown. And turnover again. Azar in transition for three. Good! Azar Swain is second trifecta. And it's a 23 17 game for the Bulldogs. DK to Matthews. Williams is stripped away by Phillip. Still pushing in numbers. Here is Olani at the wing and can't finish the layup. Stonebrook really struggling to buy a bucket. Rebounded by Cotton. Cotton to Swain. Swain towards the right. Here's Atkinson O'Cherry. He's trying to find a move. Foul. And a foul. And one. Atkinson hesitated. Was able to get Gee and O'Cherry in the air. Drew the foul. And Atkinson will go to the line for an extra. Here is Foreman. Garcia from the wing. Good. Three-pointer. Andrew Garcia. 140 remaining in the seven-point game. First shot from the on the arc tonight, and that was courtesy of Garcia. DK will find Bruno. Bruno tried to retaliate. He does nothing but the bottom top of the key. And Bruno, he's got his first three pointer of the season. He's got seven points. It's 30 to 20. Yale. Yale is a good team. They won the Ivy last year. So McKenzie will get it from Olani. Olani on top of the key, being hard pressured by Gavidon. Olani taking it to the cup at the wing and put back by O'Cherry. That's how you start a statement for the second half. Jeff O'Cherry, a thunderous put back, make it 30 25. Yale. And one wide open. Oh, he had it. Here's Latimer wide open from the corner. You might know it is no good. Long offensive rebound by O'Cherry. O'Cherry trying to get back up. No offense, no foul. Put back rebound by Garcia. Got it. And Stonebrook takes the lead. The first time since they had it since a 2 0 in this. First half, and now it's 31 30 Stony Brook. 38 35. Now uh, blocked by Gee on the jumper by Cotton. And it go back into the hands of Cotton. Here is Swain on the putback. Swain looking for separation, going left, trying to find the pass. Great pass to Alausa, blocked by Garcia, and a rebound there by Olani. Now this fan is starting to get into this game. Here is Olani back to Garcia. Foreman has it, he'll go right. Crossover back to his left straight away. Here is Olani in the corner for three. The tie and bang! Ties the game at 38. Swain will inbound it. Trying to find some separation and just gets it to Gabadon. Gabadon allows the top of the key. Trying to find a round. Get back to Cotton. Cotton at the left wing. Here is Gabadon going right. Cross court pass to Bruner. Bruner driving towards the right. Over and swatted away by O'Cherry. O'Cherry gives it back to Gabadon. Three on the shot clock. No good there by Cotton. It will stay with the end with two seconds remaining. O'Cherry return to center. Back to Garcia, top of the key. He'll drive right. Phillip in the corner for three. Looked like it was a swatted shot there by Cotton. 
Cotton Gotti going towards the left. Find a Swain. Swain got it and the foul. Count that baby and a foul. Foul go to Pierre Phillip. And Swain is in double figures with 11. And it's a 40-38 Bulldog lead with 13.09 left. McKenzie, bad pass, but still in the hands of Latimer being uh, def defended by Swain. Latimer going up and stuffed with the left and rejected by Bruner. What picked up by Garcia going right up against and blocked by Atkinson. And Atkinson gets it and he'll give it to Monroe. Does Yale have numbers here? They will slow it down. It looks like Stonerbrook will enter. They'll stay in man. Here is Monroe right at the cup. He'll open it off to Gavidon. Monroe wide open here. Swain, you might as well ride it in. He's got it from three. His fourth three of the game, and he has been keeping Yale intact with a five-point lead, 55 to 50. He is four of seven from the great beyond. With 13 points, Latimer, top of the key. Here is O'Cherry from the right elbow. Again, now here is Olani driving in, pull up jumper, got it. Off the assist from O'Cherry around the screen. Three point game, and Olani's got 14. Monroe trying to find Atkinson around the screen. Here is Bruner going in, right up, and blocked by O'Cherry. O'Cherry blocked the dunk attempt by Bruner, and that is his fourth block. Here is Monroe going to the cup, can't get it. Almost wedged inside the rim there, and Latimer's got the board. Latimer looking around, no one there, dishing it off, finding Olani uh, for three, got it! Olani puts the deficit to two, he's got 17. Elijah oh, Olani cutting this deficit, and it is a two point game at 2.29 remaining, 57 55 Yale. 113 remaining. Foreman looking for the screen, finds it. He'll take a step back three. Got it! Big three by Mappelli Foreman. And it's a three point game. And he's a double figures with 10 points. Mappelli Foreman, 6 1, guard out of Kingsport, Tennessee. Went in three seconds. A really nice shot on this replay. Looking like James Harden on the step back, only right handed in the face of Monroe and buries it to get the double figures and it's a three point game. Wow, Bruner for the first free throw, up and no good, back iron. Rebound by Miles Latimer, Storybrook had the chance to hold for the final shot. You waste the, you waste the clock here. Latimer, he'll take the three, yes it goes! Miles Latimer takes the lead for the zero, 62. To 61, he's got 14 points, and Latimer is clutch and uses it against the Al Bulldogs in the Stony Brook home opener. And Latimer, that is his first three-pointer of the night. He knocks down the biggest one of the night so far for Stony Brook and gives the Seawolves a one-point lead over the 2018-2019 Ivy League defending champion Yale Bulldogs. Atkinson Jr., three dribbles. Spins the ball for the lead. No good. Rebound by Garcia has it. Three, two, one. Garcia for the win. Off the glass and no good. And we are heading to overtime. Garcia had a look off his left foot behind the three-point line. Trying to find it off the glass but did not hit the rim. Five minutes left to go and we are heading to OT. Garcia takes two dribbles, the shot up and in and out. Wow, that probably rattled three or four times off the rim and no good. Two point lead for the Bulldogs, 65-63, 248 remaining. Monroe to the right wing, top of the key. Here is Bruner with Guy on him. To the left, oh, gambling there was Alani. Wide open here is Gavin on for three, got it! Huge three by Gavin on, Jalen Gavin on. And he now has seven points. It's 68-63 Bulldogs. Latimer going right to the cup. He'll take it to the lane. Left-hand layup. It's good. It's a four-point game. And Ford will take a timeout. No defense there penetrating inside to the paint. Latimer took it with the left hand. And he's got 16 points. 72-66. No one's on Garcia here. Three-pointer. Off the glass. No good. Four minutes to take it back. And he's being contested. And it's got a block there by Bruner. Here's Foreman again. Foreman's got to take another three. It's up and good! From the corner. Markel Foreman, 13 points in his Stony Brook debut. And 3.2 seconds left and Stony Brook has to 
rely on missed free throws, if anything. Again, here comes the defense. No one available. Oh, backcourt pass. Cotton's got it. Will he dunk it? He will dunk it, and that will do it. And Yale, Cotton slams it down with no time left, and Yale will hold on. Will they count the bucket? More than likely they're waiting, but yes, they will. 74 to 69, Yale beats the Stony Brook Seawolves at IFC Arena in overtime, and congrats to James Jones with this win, making him the second highest winning coach in the Ivy League, passing Fran Dunphy of Pennsylvania. And what a game from both teams. Game had to go in overtime, but Yale just wanted it more in the end. We are going to say goodbye here from IFCU Arena. The season opener for the Seawolves results in a 74-69 loss that had to go into overtime. I'm Jim Fortune alongside Zach Wilson, our engineers, Ken Furman, and Matt Mankwich in the studio. You are listening to the longtime home of Stony Brook men's basketball on 90.1 FM WUSB. Everybody, enjoy the rest of your night.